Most cinema fires are caused by carelessness, such as lack of attention in the projection room. For no matter how safe the modern projector may normally be, there is always the possibility of some minor defect causing a fire, which by the operator's absence or inattention becomes uncontrollable. Always remember, everyone who handles 35 mm film should know that it can be very dangerous and it should be treated accordingly. Why is film so dangerous? The answer is because 35 mm cinematograph film has only a thin coating of photographic emulsion on a ribbon of cellulose nitrate, or celluloid as it's generally termed. It is highly inflammable because of this celluloid. There is a saying, as much chance as a celluloid cat in Hades. And this demonstrates the inflammability of that material, celluloid. Now, by means of a few simple experiments, the dangers of just one tin of 35 millimeter cinematograph film will be shown. Here is a roll of nitrate film unwound. If it's set on fire, it burns freely and is completely consumed. After the first few seconds, sufficient heat has been generated to cause decomposition which cannot be stopped. Here, a similar roll of film, but tightly wound, is set on fire. A gas water extinguisher is applied, but too late. The flames have been extinguished, but the film still continues to smolder, vigorously to decompose, generating great heat and producing thick yellow vapor during the process until the whole of the film is consumed. The yellow fumes are not only inflammable, but are explosive in a confined space. They are also highly irritant and poisonous. The vapor may well reignite itself. Here is one more proof of the dangers. This roll of film is well alight. If it is put into a bucket of water, the flames go out, but the film continues to decompose. The vapor, which you see, is reignitable. Note the pressure of the vapor given off is causing turbulence and spilling of the water. Note, too, that the carbon tetrachloride extinguisher is also a useless agent against open film fires. And here is the result of using a foam extinguisher. The film still continues to decompose beneath the foam, 
and the vapor rises through the blanket of foam. What about CO2? Here again, the attack is useless. Methyl bromide is equally ineffective. Then there is the asbestos blanket, which was long looked upon as a means of dealing with film fires. But it is no longer used in naval service, because, as is shown, it does not really extinguish the fire, nor provide sufficient control. Notice how the fire is coming out from round the edges. The blanket has simply served to spread the inflammable vapor, which by its own pressure has reached the extremities. The pressure is now such that vapor is forcing its way through the center of the blanket and burning. What then will extinguish a film fire? Only a gas water appliance such as this, because it has the greatest cooling effect of any extinguisher. But it is only effective if it is used in the very early stages of the fire, when decomposition of the film can be stopped. Here, application is not only too late, but also incorrect. The operator is not making a constant and close application of the fluid, with the result that the explosive gases are reigniting because of the heat generated by decomposition.